more sanctions for North Korea. Obama just signed off new expanded sanctions over their nuclear program. This is coming weeks after Nor the North launched a long-range rocket. The U.S., along with everyone else, basically, has been urging them to stop their nuclear program, but they don't listen. Uh, so here are a few of those sanctions. Um, the sanctions are meant to freeze uh, and cut off any money that would go to helping the North uh, develop a miniaturized nuclear warhead. That is their goal. That's what they want to do. So this is how we're going to stop them. All right. The sanctions freeze the assets of anyone doing business related to North Korea's nuclear or weapons program or involved in human rights abuses. I'm sure that's a lot of people right there. Does that include travel? And I'm sorry I didn't ask I'm, you that I, earlier, but uh, any commercial travel would, would be benefiting North Korea. Yeah, I'm wondering that's how true. far this goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't think th the goal here is to, um, you know, hurt the people, you know, as, is, as much as it is to just only stick to uh, cutting off funds going to uh, the, the nuclear program itself. I think that's the main goal here. So for that reason, I'm going to say no, but I'm still not sure on that. Um, the bill also allows for $50 million to support humanitarian programs and, get this, transmit radio broad broadcasts into North Korea. So we're actually also helping for anti-Kim uh, Jong-un uh, propaganda. regime propaganda, too. <laughs> yeah. We covered this yesterday on the lip, the uh, nuclear program that North Korea employs. It, it could actually cause a volcanic eruption, a volcano that hasn't been active in over 100 years. A 1,000 years ago, it actually created enough uh, hot lava to, to cause some extinction, extinction in that area. So this is a very serious thing, Nick. It's something we take seriously. My question to you is, do you think they even care? Haven't we been sanctioning them forever? Does yeah. it matter? There's, there's already so many sanctions in place. And, you know, we've been warn warning them for quite a long time about these newest sanctions that we just put in place. So I'm sure they were prepared for it because, uh, let's be honest, the North's not going to back down. Uh, they're very stubborn. And I think uh, Kim Jong-un uh, and his people are all about uh, the way that they look and to make sure that they are going to remain in power. So in a way, you know, the, the West is kind of, uh, given that we're, we're, we're giving money to these, these aid and humanitarian programs that want to, like, send over these uh, anti-North broadcasts, I think this is a way to kind of uh, build instability in the country. And I don't know what the hell that's going to lead to. That could only make things worse, mm -hmm. in my opinion. But there's no easy way around this. South Korea's foreign ministry had this to say. The bill was the first one exclusively targeting North Korea, which was passed in an unusually expeditious fashion. We expect it to provide a platform for the U.S. to take strong and effective measures against North Korea. So this bill was easily passed uh, by Congress, one of the few things that Obama can get passed through Congress very easily. Uh, so we're going to have to see uh, what these sanctions do, if anything.